talking about how to plant an amaryllis. Amaryllis are actually a tropical bulb that you can enjoy in your house, especially during the Christmas season and the winter seasons for when we need that extra pop of color on those cold and gloomy days. Um, but one thing when we're talking about amaryllis, this one's actually starting to grow a little bit. First thing you want to do too is to pick out a pot and I'm kind of just going to show. You want to have about an inch, inch and a half around the bulb so that the bulb's not too crowded. You don't want a pot that's too large for it, otherwise they don't bloom as well. But one thing you definitely need to use is a good quality potting soil and a pot that has good drainage too as well. You'll fill the pot oh, approximately two thirds full and you'll want to make a crater for it. And you'll try and spread out the roots of the amaryllis as much as possible. Bring the soil level up to a certain level. You want it just about almost where the neck starts, where this rubber band is. You want the soil to be below that. And you want to pack in the soil so it's not too, not packed really hard, but firmly. As far as placement of the amaryllis, you're going to want to put this near a sunny location in your home. Uh, definitely a sunny window would be best. If you don't have the right amount of light, you could also put a grow light. And when after you first are done planting an amaryllis, the first thing you want to do is definitely water it in well once. And just kind of let the, so, since this soil is pretty dry, I'm getting quite a bit of water. Another option you can do when planting an amaryllis is you can actually, if you have a tall vase, because sometimes amaryllises will get a little tipsy when the flower stalk is really tall and very heavy, you could use a stake in a regular pot such as this or you can actually plant it with some stone in the bottom that can be your reservoir for uh, the water so that the way the bulb isn't sitting in the water so it doesn't rot out and the roots will go down through the rock and grab the water but then this part of the base will actually help support the bloom so it doesn't tip over. As you water your amaryllis, the time they take the most water is when they're actually actively growing, when they're actually putting out their blooms. If you're planting an amaryllis that hasn't started to bloom yet, you'll want to water it once and then wait for more growth to appear before you start giving it regular waterings. Because you actually, before it breaks its dormancy, sometimes the dormancy can take it anywhere from four to six weeks after you plant one that doesn't have a bloom stalk on it. It could take that long and you don't want it too wet during that process, otherwise you could potentially rot out the bulb. And amaryllis actually aren't just a once a year thing. You can actually keep an amaryllis for several years. Um, I actually treat mine like house plants, and so through the summer months, I actually water it, I fertilize it, give it lots of sunlight. Some people will take their amaryllis outside. Uh, I prefer to keep mine inside. That way I know I don't have to treat for any in soil-borne insect issues as I bring it inside. And uh, during uh, October, I start withholding the water let it dry out, let the leaves dry out, and I put it into a dark spot in my house. I have an ideal spot in my storeroom where it's about 60 degrees and dark, and I let it go through there for about six to eight weeks in the dark, and then I'll bring it out again for the Christmas season to enjoy blooms again.